Welcome to the Money Barista podcast in the virtual cafe where copy meets money. This is your host, Kerry Zab, the Money Barista, and together with Kim White, we bring you weekly episodes to talk about the beans in your business. How would you like to be in control of your business finances? Step inside the virtual cafe with us for these combos where we share our experience with you. So what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. It's copy time. Kim, we are back in the virtual cafe and I think I need to find a friend. I get it, Terry. I have experience with that. <laughs> so, do I dare tell our secret about me finding a friend live on a podcast? Absolutely. So I might have been on a podcast as a guest and it might have been live streaming out loud. This is the funniest part probably. But I was asked a question I didn't know the answer to and I wanted to win the game that was going on. So I quickly whipped out my phone live on the podcast and called Carrie. I'm in Texas. Carrie's in Australia. I phoned a friend and it's like, Carrie, help me answer this question. The podcast host was quite, that was the first for them to have that experience. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember, Kim, because I was actually watching the live stream. Oh. <laughs> I was. I was actually watching the live stream that you were on. I can't remember what. It was quite late at night for me. And next minute, you were phoning me. And then I had to mute the live stream because we're on the phone and I couldn't watch you because your lips weren't in sync. And <laughs> and I don't recall knowing the answer to the question, Kim. It was Maybe I was Googling at the time. Maybe I was your phone-a-friend Google assistant. I think you were Googling it for me, Gary, because it could not be true, let me just say that. But in my memory, I think we won. Oh, for sure. <laughs> no question about We're not even going back to check the replay, Kim. We won. <laughs> we're not checking the facts on that one, Gary. <laughs> and notice I said we won because I've just pulled myself in as the phone friend. We did it together, team effort. <laughs> it, it took both of us, Gary. <laughs> so, Kim, what are we talking about today? Well, we have a question from a, a listener, and I'm really proud of this listener for asking this question because, honestly, I would like to ask this question too, Carrie, except I know the answer because I would call you. I already proved that. Um, it is, when you have an embarrassing money question, who do you call to ask something? You don't want everybody to know the question. question may be embarrassing to ask. Who do you call? Well, and I say this with all respect, but don't call Google. Like, let's make that really clear straight off because, and, and I only say that, I, I want to put a little caution in here, Kim, while answering the question. Sometimes, especially when it's embarrassing, we can actually feel compelled to go to a search engine and type out our question and see what answers we get. That can turn into a little bit of a slippery slope of getting all different kinds of answers and actually not helping you at all or in actual fact sending you in the op opposite direction of becoming so overwhelmed with all these different answers that we get and sometimes it's simply how we put the question as to what answer we get so I'm just saying this out loud Kim for the record be careful if you're just going to go and do a little you know search engine kind of question session about this to avoid speaking to someone or avoid that embarrassment and by all means if you do do that and you do find the answer yay like that's fantastic but I just want to say like be careful when you're going online looking for the these answers because it, it can just not always help. So Kim, we need to look in our little, I guess, I'm going to say the word community. And I say that meaning it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a biz bestie, it could be your accountant that is actually on speed dial that you can reach out to. And I will say that generally in the world of accountants, this is a private and confidential situation that you can feel confidence in asking those questions. But if you don't have an accountant in your pocket or if you've got one that, you know, oh man, if I pick up the phone to them, it's $100. Like, you know, those kind of situations. Think about who's in your network. 
you know, and those that you can reach out to, whether it's someone else in business that you can have a private conversation with, know that you've got that relationship with someone to get the answer. But also think about a family member, like there might be another family member that's in business and maybe they've come across this exact same thing before. So really, you're, you're looking for someone that has the experience to help you, someone that actually wants to help you, and also someone that may be able to deliver you the answer to your question, not only privately and confidentially, but actually helping you get the answer that you need. So Kim, it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's not a simple answer, but just sit back for a moment and have a think of who's in your corner that can actually assist you in this space. Have you ever looked at your bank account or credit card statement and found charges you forgot to cancel? Do you have a sinking feeling that you are spending money on things you no longer use? I'm Kerry Zarb, the Money Barista, and I share a free tool that has saved users over $116,000. If you want to get in control of your recurring payments, then the Money Barista Savings Tool is the free step for you. I host a live tour of the savings tool every quarter. It's completely free for you to attend and get this amazing tool. Let me show you how this tool can save you money and help you track your progress. Head over to kerryzarb.com forward slash savings to register for the next live tour. And while you're there, grab your free and private copy of the Money Barista Savings Tool so that you can get started on saving money today. Terry, I'm going to say prior to you coming into my life, I have done the searching online and gotten some really bad advice. I'm going to say that. So I can definitely be a witness for that, that it's not always good what advice you get online. The other thing is though, Carrie, I want to suggest anyone who's listening to send in their question to like the virtual cafe, because if you send it here, Carrie will do her best to answer it. Carrie's not a financial advisor. We need to make that clear, but Carrie's wisdom of all the clients she has, all of the years of doing things, all the businesses she's like overseeing, all of that stuff comes into play. And the fact that Carrie's not judgy and Carrie, I'm not talking to you right now. I'm talking to the listener, (laughs) but all of that comes into play. If you have a question, send it in. You don't have to worry. Carrie won't call your name out or any of that stuff, but you may be able to get some you know, answers by doing that too, Carrie, because I do not mind telling the whole world I have you on speed dial for everything. It's not just this, but even live guesting on podcasts, I have you on speed dial. (laughs) Well, Kim, I I kind of feel like maybe we need to set up a little, I don't know, inbox or something for this. We don't, we don't, we haven't actually officially like put it out there to do this. Like we've mentioned it a couple of times, but there's not something system wise in place as yet. However, I will say that, you know, you can find me on all the social platforms. So just send a message like it's not a big deal and connect, you know, and then we can bring it to the podcast and help more people because we understand, Kim, you and I have been kind of in probably too many businesses. And when I say that, I mean that like really well. We've, we've been in business a long time and we've just seen so many things. And also I want to address the whole Aussie versus global translation because I do not, as you said, Kim, I'm not a financial advisor and I don't profess to be across all of the global rules when it comes to business finances because we talk about helping you get unstuck with business finances in general. Like we want you to work on them. We want you to understand them. And a lot of the knowledge around business finances is just completely transferable from any place 
on the planet. Like it doesn't matter. The, the base core of business finances is the same. So I just ha wanted to put that out there, Kim, that, you know, by all means, send in a question if you're stuck and it will be private. It will be confidential. You will not be named. You will not be called out. You will not be embarrassed because we just don't believe in any of those things at all. No, definitely not. And Carrie, we get lots of questions. Like that's something that we need to say out loud too is it's my official job. That's what I'm going to call it. It's my official job to bring a question that we've gotten from someone or that someone's asked us. And sometimes that means it's people we know. Sometimes it's clients. Sometimes it's masterminders, Carrie. Sometimes it's, you know, we run into somebody in the coffee shop and they know what you do, Carrie. So I feel like that is a, it's a very broad thing, but that's where the questions actually come from is real life. And I want to also put out there, like, I have lots of business experience and that's both bad and good. Like, I think that that's something to be said as well. I know how hard all this is and the struggle's real. So I think, you know, Carrie has made it not hard. That's the most magical part about this is Carrie has helped a lot of us in this community get our schnizzle together. Some of us may take longer to get our schnizzle together than others, but you know. <laughs> and Kim, I need to add one more thing to our dear listener. If you are sending in a question, you can feel free to use some colorful language in your question because Kim needs to read it out loud. And if you go back a few episodes and listen to my purpose in life and my mission and my goal is to get Kim to cuss and, and swear out loud loud so that mission is still real that's still going i've got a little rally of troops coming behind me like helping me bring this together kim you know this you know this to be true so therefore listener please feel free to use some colorful language because we're gonna get kim to cuss don't you what i can't go anywhere anymore that carrie didn't have a minion like trying to get me to say something i shouldn't say <laughs> everywhere we go and there's someone else there someone tries someone tries yay go team <laughs> oh my goodness i'm gonna phone a friend carrie i'm gonna say i'm gonna see you next week in the virtual cafe <laughs> kim see, see kim's trying to eject from the episode so that she doesn't get stitched up he's like no no no. we'll just, we'll just bypass that we'll just we sweep that one away and and moving right along so nice work kim <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs> well, yep, we will see everybody in the virtual cafe next week, either on our video shorts, which are on YouTube, or you may actually catch us in the episode in your ears. And thank you for joining us for this one. See you next week, Kim. Thanks, Carrie. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the Virtual Cafe studio for this convo about business finances. This production is brought to you by the money barista, Kerry Zarb. You can follow the show to be notified of future episodes. And if you're enjoying this podcast, we encourage you to leave a rating or personal review. Until next time, happy biz beans to you. No beans were harmed during the production of this podcast. Information contained in this podcast should be taken as general advice only and your personal circumstances have not been taken into account. It is recommended that you seek financial advice from a professional who is licensed to do so. If you choose to act upon the general advice shared, you do so at your own risk.